Last month, I preached about how we as believers, we must have the courage to step out in. We must have the courage to move in faith. In fact, I preach from the scripture that we're gonna be taking a look at here in our Sunday School lesson this week. You see, when I think about having the strength to move in faith, when I think about having the courage to move in faith, I think about one person particularly in scripture. I think about Joshua. And we'll see why I think about Joshua here in our Sunday School lesson for this week. Joshua, he was called to lead Israel after the passing away of Moses, who the Lord did not permit to enter into the promised land. Joshua was to lead the children of Israel across the Jordan and into the promised land. We should not think of the promised land as just a piece of land. The promised land, it is certainly more than that. We should look at the promised land as a promised blessing from the Lord. It was a blessing that was promised to Abraham, it was a blessing that was promised to Isaac. It was a blessing that was promised to Jacob. It was a blessing that was promised to the children of Israel as well. So we should consider and view the promised land for exactly what it was meant to be to Israel. Again, it is a blessing from the Lord. And here in the third and in the fourth verse, we'll see God speak of the land that he was giving to Israel. All that Joshua and the children of Israel would need to do was moved to take possession of their blessing, the promised land. So Joshua, he was being called to step into a major role of leadership for the children of Israel in the fact that he was being called to take over the leadership for Moses. So we would say today that Joshua, he has some pretty big shoes to fill in taking in the role of leading the children of Israel from, from Moses. So how do you think how do you think that would have made Joshua feel? How would you feel having to step into a role of leading people? You and I as believers, we have been commissioned to go into the world, to share the good news with all people. We have been called into the task of being spiritual leaders. How does that make you feel? Do you have the courage? Do you have the strength to take on that role? Now for Joshua, our next couple of verses may indicate to us how he may have felt about taking on this new role for the children of Israel. We'll see here in the fifth and in the sixth verse that God, he first tells Joshua, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. He says there, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. He says there, the Lord says, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Now, do you know what this is to Joshua? This was assurance from God. So in the case that Joshua might be a bit afraid of leading the children of Israel, in the case that Joshua might be a little reluctant in leading the children of Israel, we see God tell Joshua to remember. Remember what I did while Moses was leading the children of Israel. As I did for Moses, the Lord is saying, I will do for you as you go about leading the children of Israel into the promised land. Now we'll see there in the sixth verse that the Lord said to Joshua, and this is very familiar to all of us. He says, be strong and of good courage. You see, it was not the time for Joshua to be reluctant nor fearful. He and the children of Israel, they needed to go across the Jordan. He and the children of Israel, they needed to take possession of what God had promised to them. They needed to take possession of their blessing. God did not want them to turn away from their blessing as they had did once before. As believers, you and I, we should know that God has done the same for us. He has made the same promise to all of us when it comes to blessing us. Jesus said to us as it is in the 15th chapter of John's gospel in the seventh verse that if we abide in him and his word abides in us, we will ask what we would desire and what we desire it will, not maybe, it will be given. This again is a promise, I want you to understand. It is a promise from the Lord. So we should understand that the Lord, again, he has made the same assurance to us. He has made the same promise to us. 
When we move by faith, you and I, we must understand that there is nothing. There is nobody that can stop us from being able to take possession of our blessing. The only person that can stop you from taking possession of your blessing is you. You are the one that holds yourself back from taking possession of your blessing. We like to say, well, the devil has stopped me. No, the devil hasn't stopped us. What has stopped us is our lack of faith. So again, you and I, as you have heard me say before already in our lesson this week, we must have the courage to step out in. We must have the courage to move in faith. Now, here at this point, our lesson now skips down a few verses. We'll see that Joshua was not one that was reluctant to move in faith, was he? No, Joshua, he moved with courage and he was full of faith. By faith, we are told here in the 16th and in the 17th verse that Joshua and the children of Israel, they took all of the land that is covered here. Scripture tells us that by faith, Joshua captured all their kings, the kings of the land, and struck them down and killed them. In verses 18 and 19, we're told that Joshua made war a long time in no cities except two were at peace with Israel. Now, some of us, we may not understand. We may not get why Joshua was going into the promised land and why he was making war with the Canaanites, with all the people that were in the land. What we must understand is that Joshua was actually being obedient to the command that God had gave to him and that God had gave to the children of Israel. In the seventh chapter of Deuteronomy, in the second through the fourth verse, you'll see where the Lord, he commanded the children of Israel that upon possessing the promised land, they were to conquer, they were to utterly destroy those, the Canaanites that were in the land. They weren't supposed to make covenants with the people in the land, nor were they to show them mercy. Now, you may ask why? Well, the Lord, he gives us the answer here. The Lord did not want the Canaanite people. He did not want the people in the land to draw the children of Israel away from him. See, the people that were living in the land, they were worshipers of idols. They were worshipers of false gods. You and I as believers, we have to be wary of the company that we keep. We have to be very aware of the company that we keep. And the reason why it goes back to what Paul said to the Corinthians. If we keep bad company, and when I say bad company, I want you to understand I'm talking about wicked company. I'm talking about company that is made up of sinners. Paul said to the Corinthians that bad company, they will ruin good habits. Bad company will pull us away from the word of God. And again, we as believers, we must abide by the word of God. We must live in it. The word of God must dwell in us so that we can be blessed, so that we can be highly favored. So we'll see here in the final verses of our lesson for today that our lesson it closes out on a note of Joshua taking the whole land according to all that the Lord has said to Moses. Again, the instructions that we saw there in the seventh, the seventh chapter of Deuteronomy. Joshua, he was able to do this because he was obedient to God's word. What we should be taking away from our lesson this week is that, again, you and I as sincere believers, we should not ever, ever be reluctant to move in faith. You and I, we must have the courage to step out in. We must have the courage to move in faith. You and I, we must move obediently to the word of God. Again, as I just said, when we move in obedience to the word of God, when we have the courage to step out in faith, we are going to take possession of our blessing. There's no ifs, there's no maybes, there's no I guess I will get my blessing. There is a promise, a promise that has been made to us by the Lord. That again, when we are obedient to his word, when we move in faith, we are going to take possession of our blessing. It is guaranteed to us. So today I again encourage you, stay confident, have the courage, move in faith. And again, when you do this, you will be blessed. You will be highly favored by the Lord and the Lord. He will reward you.